Welcome back and uh, thank you all for staying with NTV at one. Now we have seen that in the most recent days uh, there have been persistent reports about a, per, a resurgence of COVID-19. The Ministry of Health uh, has laid out new guidelines to prevent, uh, to prevent the spread of the pandemic in Uganda. We've seen variants coming through in different countries, some countries actually getting back into a lockdown and uh, some of the guidelines back at home include restrictions to airport entry into Uganda. This afternoon, we speak to the uh, health, uh, Minister of Health spokesperson, Emmanuel Ainebiona, on how we are currently standing and if the, in the strategies that we're putting in place will actually save us from getting more COVID-19 numbers. A very good afternoon and welcome to NTV at One. Thank you. Good afternoon, Sandra. When we speak about a rise in the number of COVID-19 cases, uh, what do we mean exactly? Where are we currently standing at the moment? Yeah, thank you very much. We have seen uh, when we compare our newly tested positive cases and we compare with the month of March, we've seen an, an 80 percent increase in terms of newly diagnosed or tested COVID cases. We've also re we've registered a new strain uh, from India uh, and if you've been following international news, uh, the new variant has really ravaged almost every city of India. So the, the reason why we are instituting these new measures is to ensure that we disrupt the importation of this uh, new variant that seems to be uh, spreading so fast and also seemingly to be affecting everyone. But also to note that we are at the foot of a, a resurgency, mm. meaning that we are, we are entering a new wave so we need to ensure that we protect Ugandans. However, they need also to continuously adhere to the Ministry of Health uh, preventive measures that include hand washing mm. with water and soap, uh, using or using al uh, alcohol-based hand sanitizer, wearing their face masks properly, and also keeping a social distance. But at the airport, we have classified these countries we have restricted entry from pe uh, people who are originating from India. Reason to s stop the importation of the, the Indian variant. How also, we have classified countries with still high, high risk profile of COVID, like the US, UK, Kenya, South Sudan, Tanzania, and Ethiopia. These ones can come, but they will be subjected to a PCR test upon arrival at the airport. However, we note that if any traveler coming from the, the countries in category two have, have fully vaccinated, they will be allowed in without being subjected to a PCR test. Is this sufficient enough? Because we know if you mention of countries like say Kenya and South Sudan, there are people that enter the country using the borders and we all know how porous our borders are. What are the strategies that you're putting on ground as well to ensure that it's not brought into the country? All the points of entry have been put at a higher alert and also we have intensified our surveillance and contact tracing. Uh, this surveillance will help us to uh, get those uh, cases that might be scattered. But also what we are doing now, risk communication and public awareness. Mm -hmm. The public needs to be vigilant. Any member who has come, uh, who has been recently in the countries we've mentioned, and the community is aware that that person has just come, they need to notify the health authorities such that we are able to follow up uh, and this will able, uh, enable us to keep the new variant in check. Mm. Thank you so much, Emmanuel Ainebiona, the spokesperson of uh, the Ministry of Health. Uh, we do understand that the country has sort of, we've all gotten used to the fact that COVID-19 is there. What, uh, briefly, the other measures that you're putting in place to see that we stay alert as Ugandans? Apart this from the porous uh, putting restrictions, entry, testing of the COVID-19. Yes, so th those are some of the measures we are taking now, but we will keep revising them uh, almost every week uh, to ensure that uh, uh, we, we limit the spread of the, the disease. And I want to tell the, the, the population watching us that 
COVID is still with us, it mm. is real and it kills. So we need to continuously adhere to the Ministry of Health SOPs and also the, the other state actors need to ensure that they enforce other running measures that were put by the president, All including right. like res respecting the curfew and also ensuring that uh, people in public transport carry half the number because all, right. all those still stand. All right. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today on NTV at One. We'll carry on uh, with news happening on the international scene. We've seen that blasts close to a secondary school in the Afghan capital, Kabul, have at least led to the death of 